there's a ton of noise out there. So how do you get decision makers to pay attention to your brand? Start a podcast and invite your ideal clients to be guests on your show. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands. And I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. Welcome back to Why Podcasts Work. Today, our guest is Katarina Hulk. She is the global marketing manager at Operatics. We're thrilled to have her. Katarina, welcome to the show. Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for carving out a little bit of time. Katarina, you also actually, you run production on a, uh, on a sort of relatively new podcast that, uh, that you and your team have. Maybe we can start off today's interview by talking a little bit about your show. Yeah, sure. So our show is called B2B Revenue Acceleration. It's a show that is hosted by our CEO, Aurelien Mottier. And the objective of the show is really to bring information for B2B technology leaders regarding sales strategy, marketing strategies, everything around pipeline generation, revenue acceleration, account-based marketing, channel uh, recruitment. So it's a mixture of topics that we cover that are relevant to B2B technology leaders, either CEOs, uh, MDs, VP marketing, CMOs, uh, VP sales, everyone that is related to the technology industry in, in any way. That's fantastic. And so, Katarina, what's kind of the, the very first question that I kind of want to ask as it relates to the show is sort of where have you seen the biggest benefit from your podcast? Well, to be honest, it was very surprising the, the results that we've got from the podcast because it's still very recent. And I remember that when we started thinking about having a podcast, what actually motivated us to, to agree to it and really go for it was not not only the podcast, but also everything that is behind it. So for us, really, uh, the podcast the podcast made our whole content engine work because the content that, that is created from the interviews and, and from the people that we speak to, it also works for them doing blog posts, social media posts, and really to, to make this whole content engine work for us. And because we, we are a small marketing team, for us, it was really good to, to have an external agency that could help us with the whole content strategy behind the podcast. So it's not only the listeners and the audience that we get, but also engagements in, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on all the different platforms that help us with our content strategy. Well, that's fantastic. And I know one of the one of the notes that you had made earlier was that, you know, sort of uh, content can equal trust and authority. And so um, it's fantastic that that's been sort of fueling the uh, the content engine. But of course, you know, people also love numbers. So are there any metrics or numbers that you can maybe share uh, showing some sort of ROI on the podcast? Sure. Well, because we haven't posted too many yet, and mm -hmm. uh, the, the first uh, podcast that we recorded was really with partners and clients. So I couldn't uh, tell you now we've uh, generated that much pipeline, but obviously that, that's our future uh, target. But uh, speaking about engagement, so we had 20 times more engagement on LinkedIn posts compared to our average engagement. Wow. And uh, from the time that we launched the podcast to now, we had 104% more followers that we acquired on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn for us is really the, the, the most important platform and where we really uh, get in touch with our audience and with our target persona. So, um, yeah, for us, that was a really, really, these are very, very good numbers and we were quite impressed with them, to be honest. Well, 
Yeah, that's fantastic, especially for a show that is, uh, you know, sort of uh, relatively new, almost in its infancy. But those are definitely some impressive numbers. Now, would you say that there have been any unexpected benefits that you've seen from having the podcast? I think the LinkedIn engagements, again, that, that for us was kind of the biggest surprise because mm. obviously when you launch a podcast, you expect listeners and you expect your audience to engage with you. But not only we got the followers and the audience and the people that downloaded it. So it's all very measurable, which is very good. And then also the, the LinkedIn engagements, like people were like, first of all, super happy. And it's still something like happy for us, you know, because it's like, it's still something very new when you when you speak to people. Oh yeah, we just launched a podcast. Wow, how amazing! How cool is that? And you know, uh, so I think it's something that will grow definitely a lot. And uh, yeah, for us, really, the the LinkedIn engagements were were the kind of the unexpected benefit that we we saw from it. Oh, that's wonderful that it was such an unexpected benefit, but also you know, sort of a metric that you've been able to to quickly point to as uh, in in terms of having immediate benefit for the show. So that's fantastic. Uh, Katarina, last, last question. I mean, do you have any, or what recommendations rather do you maybe have for a company that is looking to pot- potentially start their own podcast? Sure. Well, it's, it's going to sound like you're paying me to do that, but <laughs> I'm being absolutely <laughs> honest and, and true here. So, uh, but, but my advice would really be to have an agency that will support you because uh, if I look at the, the time that I put into like in doing the guest outreach, reviewing all the content that has been generated from it, preparing the scripts that we sent to our interviewees and arranging the time. So it's a lot of time that I put into it. Imagine if I also needed to do the editing, to write the text or to have a team to do it. Or So I think the fact that we have an agency that is supporting us, that, that it's just so much better use of, of, of my time and our team's time. And also just like picking your brain guys and, and really getting, getting knowledge and, and use all your experience in, in producing the podcast. That is something we wouldn't have ourselves. So um, I think that would really be my, my recommendation. And um, also not, don't be afraid of doing it. You know, <laughs> mm. I think people sometimes get quite nervous. Oh, I'm going to be, recording my voice and people will, will listen to it i think it, it just it's it, it can only bring positive things you know as you mentioned before content is equal trust and authority so when people listen to what you're saying and when people are listening to what your interviewees are saying and it's a lot of knowledge that is produced there and people will respect you for that you know so um yeah i think that that will be my recommendations Fantastic. And I just want to assure everyone, no, we did not uh, pay Katarina anything to uh, say <laughs> those very, yes. <laughs> it was very but kind I'm things. really happy to advocate in your favor, guys, because not only like hiring an agency was a good option, but also you have a very diligent process. So that's what really impressed us from our side. And so that's why I'm recommending you to everyone as well. <laughs> well, we certainly appreciate that. And uh, and Katarina, I do definitely appreciate you taking some time again out of your schedule to, uh, to be here on Why Podcast Work. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure getting to talk to you today. It was a pleasure for me. Thank you, Jonathan. We totally get it. We publish a ton of content on this podcast and it can be a lot to keep up with. That's why we've started the B2B Growth Big Three, a no-fluff email that boils down our three biggest takeaways from an entire week of episodes. Sign up today at sweetfishmedia.com slash big three. That's sweetfishmedia.com slash big three.